at 6 o'clock, and I'd like to call to order the 18th regular meeting of the 2021 Common Council. Would the clerk please read the quote for the day? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Whatever is beautiful, whatever is meaningful, what brings you happiness, may it be yours this holiday season and throughout the coming year. Thank you very much. Would the clerk please call the roll? Alderperson Bourne? Alderperson Bourne? Alderperson Donahue? Can they not hear us? Alderperson Feldy? Here. Alderperson Ackley? Here. Alderperson Phillips? Alderperson Decker? Here. Alderperson Sorensen? Here. Alderperson Savaglio? Alderperson Felicki Paneski? Here. Alderperson Mitchell? Here. Bourne's on there too. Alderperson Bourne? Here. Alderperson Donahue? Here. Alderperson Phillips. Alderperson Savaglio. There are eight present. Thank you very much. Alderperson Savaglio and Donahue are excused. Phillips. Donahue is here. Phillips, Phillips. Phillips and, and, and Savaglio are excused. Uh, next is the Pledge of Allegiance. Please stand and join me. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Next item on the agenda is the approval of the uh, minutes from our 17th uh, regular council meeting held on December 7th. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to approve the minutes from our previous meeting. Is there a second? Second, Boren. Thank you, those minutes are before us. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor of the minutes as presented, please uh, signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. aye. Opposed? Motion passes. The next item is uh, public forum, city clerk. There is no one this evening. Very good. Then we'll move on to uh, uh, mayoral appointments. I'll turn it over to City Attorney Charles Adams. The first appointment is uh, submitted by the mayor, uh, submitting the following appointment for your consideration. Andrew Jacobs to be considered for appointment to the Senior Activity Center Commission to fill a vacancy with the term expiring on April 17, 2023. That lays over. Next one is appointments from the mayor. I hereby submit the following appointments for your consideration to the Harbor Center Business Improvement District Board. Amy Horst, Eileen Simmons, Jordan Saunders, Jane Davis Wood, Paul Rudnick, Chad Pelishik, all for uh, appointments that would expire in December 31, 2022. That also lays over. Finally, uh, the mayor hereby submits the following appointment for your consideration, Emily Rendall Araujo, to be considered for appointment to the position of Director of Senior Sur uh, Services. Thank you very much. Emily is with us this evening.
Next item on the agenda is mayor's announcements. I'd like to call up uh, our assistant chief, fire chief, Charles Butler. Tonight, I'd like to recognize assistant chief Charles Butler for his 26 and a half years of service to the Sheboygan Fire Department. I think that Chuck must have been one of those kids that received a fire truck and a fireman's hat from Santa one Christmas. And it's amazing to see the career that it shaped. He, his interest started in 1984 in the volunteer fire service and private EMS service. Chuck started his career with the Sheboygan Fire Department on April 18th of 1994, serving as a firefighter and fire equipment operator assigned to fire station number three. And then he was also assigned to the same roles at fire uh, at station number two. I mean, excuse me, station number one. He was then promoted to Commander of Research Development and Training in 2005 and served in that role until his promotion to Deputy Chief in 2010. Chief Butler was promoted to his current position of Assistant Chief in 2018. He served in the role of the Department's Operations Chief, EMS Service Director, and as the Emergency Manager for the City of Sheboygan. As EMS Service Director, Chief Butler oversaw the development and operation of the Fire Department's paramedic ambulance service for the City of Sheboygan since it began in 2008. As Emergency Manager, Chief Butler participated in planning, preparedness, and response to many local and regional events and has fostered a collaborative working relationship with other departments, state and local agencies, private organizations, and the general public. He was also responsible for the development of the Sheboygan Emergency Plan. He also currently serves as chair of the Local Emergency Preparedness Committee and also the Southeast Wisconsin Hospital Emergency Readiness Coalition. Chief Butler has been a member of the Sheboygan County Hazardous Materials Response Team and also the Sheboygan County Fire Investigation Team. Chief Butler received commendations from the department for his part in the development of the EMS in the fire department and also for his part in saving the life of Dr. Willis Wick uh, involved in the flooding event that took place in 1998. Chief Butler is responsible for many of the accomplishments of the Sheboygan Fire Department over his tenure, including the integration of the paramedic transport services, the expansion of knowledge in the equipment related to technical rescue, the continued integration of the department to Mavis system, including the Mavis Division 113 dive team, and the continued technology upgrades within the department. I want to thank Charles Butler for his 26 and a half years of service to the Sheboygan Fire Department. And I'm sure that he will continue to serve the residents of Sheboygan and Sheboygan County in some capacity in the future. So with a lot of pride and thanks, I uh, give him this certificate of appreciation from the city of Sheboygan. Uh, I is honored to present Charles Butler the certificate of appreciation and recognition of 26 and a half years of dedicated service. And that's dated April 18th of 1994 through January 4th of 2021. Charles, thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you for your gracious words, Mayor, uh, members of council. Uh, I just want to say it has been an honor and a privilege uh, to work with the men and women of the Sheboygan Fire Department over the years um, and to serve the citizens of the Sheboygan uh, community. Um, when I moved here in 1990 uh, to start a family, um, it was my mission to go into this career, and I had no idea where it would take me, but it has been my ongoing mission ever since. Uh, to improve the department, to provide better uh, and more efficient services to this community. And I think we have done that. The department is strong. Uh, members of the community, you can also know that your department is very strong. It is very compassionate and it is very well trained. And I believe as well, very efficient. Um, the addition of the ambulance service has made this EMS service in this town better than it has ever been. And I can say that with all honesty. Um, 
So I don't need to take more of your time. Uh, it's kind of a bittersweet moment for me to be retiring from this department, but I am going to stay in the community. Um, I have more work to do, but I just need to do it with a different hat. And uh, I thank you again for the years and the great career that I've had here, and have a great evening. So thank you. Um, one of our retired city clerks, Lawrence Felton, uh, passed away last Monday, or rather Monday morning, December 7th, at the Sharon Richardson Hospice. He was 94 years old, and he had served the city of Sheboygan for 24 years, first as deputy city clerk and later as city clerk until his retirement in 1989. I'd like you to stand and observe a moment of silence for Lawrence Felton, former city clerk. Thank you. Next, I'd like to uh, review the COVID update for uh, December 21st. Right now we have 10,894 positive cases. That was up 513 from a week ago. We have 1,295 active cases, and that's down 297 from a week ago. We have 9,515 uh, recovered cases. Our hospitalization has uh, gone for, uh, from 21 down 3 to 18. There's currently 84 deaths. That's up 5 from last week. And there's uh, 39,330 negative tests that were reported. The trajectory of the numbers since November was down 40% and we're pretty consistent uh, through Thanksgiving with just a slight increase. The efforts of so many at this time reduced the uh, strain of the hospital uh, admissions that we had had previously. We we're only four days away from the start of the Christmas and New Year's holiday season. We want to invite and encourage you to continue to wear a mask, wash and sanitize your hands often, and maintain social distance, and avoid groups of people that aren't in your family. Yes, even through Christmas and New Year's. These actions, if followed, will prevent the spike of the coronavirus in the next two weeks in Sheboygan. The Wisconsin National Guard is continuing their testing. Uh, last week, they had an average of 150 tests that were administered each day. Uh, there will be no testing, although uh, on this uh, coming Friday, December 25th, nor on December 31st, New Year's Eve. Testing will continue on Wednesdays, though, at the Sheboygan County Aging and Disability Center in Sheboygan Falls. The spring election uh, were, will include elections for mayor and alderperson for the city of Sheboygan. Candidates for these offices are circulating nomination papers, must, must be turned into the city clerk by January 5th. The election for aldermanic seats will be held in the odd-numbered districts, districts 1, 3, 5, 7, and 9, and those are for two-year terms. And due to a replacement in 2020, there will also be an election for the aldermanic seat in District 2, and this will be for a one-year term. If you have any questions about running for an elected office, please see the city clerk. I want to remind people that winter parking rules are in effect. Vehicles uh, should be... Uh, um, parked on alternate sides of the street between midnight and 6 o'clock in the morning. Please remember to park for tomorrow. I want to wish everyone a Merry Christmas and encourage you to bring along non-perishable food items to support the Sheboygan County Food Bank while taking in the Christmas lights display at Making Spirits Bright. Also, the Mead Library Fountain has a special display, and I want to encourage you to continue to shop local and support our retailers in Sheboygan. This holiday season, Jupiter and the Sun will come together to form what some are calling a Christmas star that will shine brightest tonight in the southwestern sky uh, on this day, the winter solstice. It's a little cloudy, so we might have to wait till tomorrow or the next day to see this. But in a year marked with pandemic, political and social unrest, it's often felt dark. Now on this year's winter solstice, when the day is the shortest and night is the longest, 
literally the darkest day of the year, Jupiter and Saturn meet to give us light. Whether or not you refer to it as a Christmas star, I hope that you will take a moment to view it this week and perhaps be encouraged for brighter days ahead. Keep an eye out for moments of light and good in your world, and better yet, be a star that shines brightly for those around you. Merry Christmas. Next, we'll go on with the consent agenda. That'll include items 2.2 through 2.14. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive and file all ROs, receive all RCs, and adopt all resolution and ordinances. Is there a second? second. Thank you. Those items are before us. Second. Is there any discussion on the items on the consent agenda? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Eight eyes. Motion passes. Under reports of officers, item 3.1 and 3.2 will be referred to various committees. Going on to resolutions, item 4.1 is resolution number 135 of 2021 by Alderperson Sorensen and Donahue, authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute an amendment to the offer to purchase with Martin's Trilling True Value Hardware, Inc. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I ask for the suspension of the rules. Is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, please proceed. Thank you, Mayor. I move to adopt the resolution. Is there, thank you for that motion and support. That item is before you. Are there any questions? Mayor, this is uh, Alderman Bourne. I have a question. Go ahead. Thank you. I guess this would be for Chad. If I remember correctly, uh, this is the portion of the Trilling uh, hardware store property where they're going to be building that uh, shelter for some of the stuff that they have now stored on, in their parking lot. That is correct. It's a parcel of land that kind of is an L-shaped parcel that goes around the Keels auto service uh, station and yes, they would use portion of the property to build the uh, storage building for their fertilizers. Thank you. The reason it's being suspended is because uh, the current offer to purchase ends as of the end of the year, and we can't get information that uh, we need from the DNR on the condition of the soils on that property. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Eight ayes. Motion passes. Item 4.2 is resolution number 136 of 2021 by Alderperson Sorensen and Donahue authorizing the appropriate city officials to execute the First Amendment to the agreement between the City of Sheboygan, Visit Sheboygan Incorporated, and the Sheboygan Area Room Tax Commission regarding reimbursement of expenditures made by the City of Sheboygan related to the Blue Harbor uh, Resort and Conference Center. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I ask for suspension of the rules. Is there any objection to suspension? Seeing none, I, please. Uh, object to suspension. Yes, please go Dr. ahead. Donahue. Okay. I object to the suspension. There will need to be a motion to approve the suspension of the rules. Is there a second? Second. I'm not moving to suspend the rules. She's, she's person Sorensen made the motion, so he's looking for a second. Okay, sorry, I'm having trouble hearing that I have a very bad connection tonight. My apologies. So I guess I'll ask for a point of parliamentary procedure. If there's an objection, don't then you have to vote on the objection itself separately? No, we have to vote on this. Go ahead, Charles. Yeah, you, you need a, 
you need a second uh, to your original motion. The mayor is able to proceed when there's such a motion just simply by asking for objection. If there's no objection, the second and the vote is assumed. But because there was an objection, someone will need to second the motion that Alder Sorensen has made. And then there will be a vote uh, and uh, it does require a two thirds vote. There is uh, no uh, debate and there's uh, no amendment of, uh, of the uh, motion. Is there a second to Alderperson's motion? Second. Thank you. We have the motion on the floor to suspend the rules. Would the clerk please call the roll to for uh, allowing the, ex the suspension? Five eyes, three nos. Is that two thirds? That's not two thirds. It, it requires a two thirds vote, so that no. did not pass. So the matter will have to lie over. Thank you very much, City Attorney. So, I, I, can I ask a question on that one? So, would that be then referred to a committee, or can we refer it to a committee instead of laying over? You, you can, uh, someone can make a motion to refer it to a committee, yes. I'll, I'm, I move to refer this to the Finance Party Personnel please. Committee. Is there a second? second that. Very good. Any second. All in favor of this uh, referral to the Finance Committee and personnel, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. aye. Opposed? <laughs> Motion passes. Mayor? Yes. This is Alderman Boren. Is it germane to ask uh, why, why the objection to, uh, uh, for the document? City Attorney, I don't think we can do that on the current agenda track we're on, can we? It's a non-debatable motion. Um, you know, certainly it's re it relates to the item that was on the agenda, so I think um, it can be answered if someone wants to answer it, but it is all, it was also a non-debatable motion, so you can also just simply to choose to move on. If it's helpful, I would be happy to explain my objection. I don't think we can allow that right now, unless the city Chuck said we could. City attorney, can we allow that? Yes, it, it, it can be explained. It's just not a debatable motion, but it is related to the item that that has now been um, voted to refer. Thank you very much. Please proceed, Alderperson Donahue. Thank you. Um, I don't mean to be troublesome, uh, but when I read uh, the particular proposed contract modification, uh, which seems to be um, uh, reasonable, um, I felt strongly that it certainly deserved uh, much more uh, explanation, uh, much more discussion, and uh, because we are putting off substantial payments to the city for a period of time, and probably for good reason, um, I think it would be uh, helpful to have um, uh, a, a smaller dis a discussion with a smaller group um, with the head of visit Sheboygan. Um, I know Chad serves as chair, I believe, of, of that board. Um, and I don't know whether he would be speaking for the city or for visit Sheboygan, but um, I think that having that discussion um, uh, will be helpful. Um, I don't think it impairs the contractual rights of Visit Sheboygan, otherwise I would not have uh, objected to the suspension. I think this is something we can timely accomplish uh, early in the next year. Thank you for that explanation. City Attorney, I have another speaker who'd like to speak. Can we engage in discussion on this? So it's an item that was noticed as long as we stick pretty closely to the uh, item that was noticed, which it, which was simply, uh, you know, the, the resolution uh, in front of us, uh, you, you can talk about it. But again, noting that you as chair do have the ability to say, let's just move on. But that's that's your decision. Thank you. I'll allow Dean Decker to speak then. Oh, that, no, that wasn't. No. Nope. No. Okay, that's gone then. No, 
All right, item 4.3 is resolution number 137 of 2021 by Alderpersons Donahue, Ackley, Sorensen, expressing gratitude for the skill, efficiency, and dedication demonstrated by the city clerk, Meredith De Bruyne, and her staff during the spring and fall election cycle. Alderperson Donahue. Thank you, Mayor. I'm honored to uh, uh, move adoption of this resolution. Second. Thank you for your motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Eight ayes. Motion passes. Congratulations. Thank you. Good job. Um, items 4.4 and 4.5 will be referred to various committees. Under reports of committees, item 5.1 is RC number 212 of 2021 by the Public Works Committee. Tum was referred RC number 187 of 2021 by the Public Works Committee and RO number 97 of 2021 by the City Clerk submitting a communication from Michael Thomas, President of the Black American Community Outreach regarding Juneteenth Day celebration and recommends that the Common Council instruct the staff uh, to prepare the appropriate document to waive the park rental fee for the Juneteenth celebration. Alderperson Decker. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to receive the report of the committee, file the document, instruct staff to prepare the appropriate document to waive the park rental fee. Thank you for that motion. Is there a second? Second. Very good. Any discussion on the motion? Uh, this is Alderman Bourne. I just have a question. Go ahead, Jim. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, then the document that uh, Public Works is going to produce uh, regarding waiving the fee and the amount and everything, that's going to come back to us for a, a final vote? Or as I see, on, I see later in the agenda, we're creating an ordinance that gives the Public Works Director discretion. Uh, will we be voting on this again, or will the Public Works uh, director uh, uses discretion if that ordinance is passed at the future meeting. City Attorney, you want to take uh, that one? Yes. So the ordinance that you see uh, at 6.3, which is getting referred to Public Works, is the necessary document needed to waive the fee. It requires an ordinance to do. Um, it was this sort of awkward phrasing by the committee in 5.1, but. Um, so you will be voting on that, and uh, um, that you'll be able to review that at Public Works and then at Council uh, in two weeks. So then uh, to answer my question, Attorney Adams, then uh, at the end of the day, it'll be Director Beeble that will use his discretion on whether to grant this then? He will use his discretion pursuant to the grounds that are set forth in the proposed ordinance, if that ordinance is approved as written by Public Works and then again by Council. All right, thank you very much. Is there any other discussion? Yes, this is Malicki Paneski. Um, yes. I'm now confused. Are we doing an ordinance just for Juneteenth or are we doing an ordinance for discretion moving forward for all park rentals? This would include all future. Yeah, we, we couldn't, it, it would really be potentially problematic legally to just do it for one organization. So it is a, a much wider um, ordinance than that. Any other discussion? And, it, and that particular ordinance happened to come up because Juneteenth requested this. So it got pulled together. But, the, but yeah. the underlying policy is we are now going to give discretion to waiving park fees to our the head of DPW. If you vote for it, um, you know, the, 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 that's what you'll be voting on in, in two weeks. But the, the, the policy that's contained in the proposed ordinance that has yet to be vetted by either the committee or by you would put that authority, vest that authority in the 
uh, public works director, but also put some fencing around that authority by saying here are the reasons for which that you can do it and here are the situations in which you can. Thank you. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Eight ayes. Motion passes. Item 5.2 is RC number 213 of 2021 by the Finance and Personnel Committee to whom was referred resolution number 131 of 2021 by Alder Persons Donahue and Boren, authorizing a transfer of appropriations in the 2020 budget and authorizing reimbursement for funds expended for the purchase of property located 1807 North A Street and recommends amending the resolution by changing the address in the first paragraph to 18. 17 North A Street. Alderperson Donahue. Thank you. I uh, move to receive the report of the committee and adopt the substitute resolution. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll? Eight ayes. Motion passes. Item 5.3 is RC number 214 of 2021 by the Public Works Committee to whom was referred resolution number 132 of 2021 by Alderperson Sorensen and Decker adopting the Sheboygan County, Wisconsin Hazardous Mitigation Plan for 2025 and recommends adopting the resolution. Alderperson Decker. Thank you, Mayor. I make a motion to receive the report of the committee and adopt the resolution. Is there a second? Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Seeing none, would the clerk please call the roll for passage? Eight ayes. Motion passes. Item 5.4 is RC number 215 of 2021 by the Finance and Personnel Committee to whom was referred direct referral resolution number 133 of 2021 by Alder Persons Donahue and Boren authorizing retaining outside legal counsel to represent the city in the matter of Walmart Real Estate Business Trust versus the city of Sheboygan in authorizing payment for said services. Alder Person Donahue. Uh, thank you. I uh, move to and adopt the resolution. Second. Thank you for your motion and support. Is there any discussion on the motion? Uh, I just uh, have a moment. Um, uh, we did uh, discuss this uh, quite thoroughly at our committee meeting. Um, the outside counsel that we are retaining um, is a well-known and well-used expert in uh, the tax store case. The fees are um, extremely reasonable, um, and uh, the results that she is able to obtain based on her um, expertise are good, are very good. Um, and so we think that this is an appropriate uh, uh, expenditure of our of our funds, and um, and a good idea to retain her. Thank you for those comments, Alderman Person Donahue. Is there any other discussion? Mayor Alderman Boren. Please go ahead. Thank you, Mayor. I would just second what Alderperson Donahue said, and the reason why this works out well financially for the city of Sheboygan and other cities is that this attorney uh, kind of uh, uh, packages these various lawsuits together and represents different municipalities as a group, and that helps to keep down the, uh, the cost of this litigation with Walmart. Thank you. Thank you for that information. And Mayor, if I can make one more comment. Please go ahead. All the Donahue here. Um, I just want to point out that this is the next in a very long line of uh, lawsuits that we have faced from big box stores 
and for whatever reason there does not seem to be a legislative will <coughs> to deal with this problem and it could be dealt with um, so again I express my dismay that the legislature has not seen fit to act on the loophole that uh, these big box stores uh, climb through and cost local taxpayers a great deal of money. So I'm off my soapbox. I just wanted to say that. Thanks for that information. Seeing no other discussion, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? <clears throat> Eight eyes. Motion passes. Item 5.5 .5 is RC number 216 of 2021 by the Public Works Committee to whom was referred direct referral resolution number 134 of 2021 by Alderpersons Decker and Sorensen authorizing the appropriate city officials to accept the quote from Oravo uh, USA LLC for the purchase of components required to maintain the West influent screens at the wastewater treatment plant and to make other expenditures related to the maintenance of the west influent screen and the control of the east and west influent screens. Correct, Alderperson Decker. Thank you, Mayor. Make a motion to receive the report of the committee and adopt the resolution or adopt the ordinance. Second. Thank you very much for that motion and second. Uh, under discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Eight ayes. Motion passes. Item 5.6 is RC number 217 of 2021 by the Licensing Hearings and Public Safety Committee to whom was referred General Ordinance number 26 of 2021 by Alderperson Decker amending sections 118 through 276 and 118 through 279 of the Municipal Code relating to unlicensed vehicles and recommends adopting the ordinance. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to receive the report of the committee and adopt the ordinance. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on this motion? Go ahead, Alderperson Decker. I just want to say this is a, a great collaboration between the um, police department and the, the, the neighborhood committees and stuff. Uh, that This is where, where this kind of came from. Uh, this is going to solve or help solve some of the neighborhood problems we've had with um, people parking cars, uh, doing, uh, uh, taking out, uh, leaving junk cars all over the streets. We've had some issues in the Indiana corridor uh, in the King Park neighborhood, and uh, I hope that you will support this. Thank you for those comments. Is there any other discussion? Seeing none. Will the clerk please call the roll for passage? Eight ayes. Motion passes. Under general ordinances, item 6.1 through 6.3 will be referred to various committees. And uh, next is adjournment. Alderperson Sorensen. Thank you, Mayor. I move to adjourn and wish everyone a happy holidays and a very Merry Christmas. Second. Okay. Thank you for that motion and support. All those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. aye. Opposed? We stand adjourned. Thank you for your time tonight. <coughs> <coughs>